To finalize your grades, you want to first navigate to your course in Canvas. The second thing you want to do is make sure you have applied a grading scheme. To do that, go to Settings, and then on the Course Details tab, scroll down to Grading Scheme. First, make sure Enable Course Grading Scheme is checked, and then click on View Grading Scheme. Most users will not have selected a grading scheme yet, so it's going to default to the Delivered Canvas Grading Scheme. To change this, click on Select Another Scheme. The vast majority of courses are going to be taught using the University of Minnesota Letter Grade Scheme. Unless your campus, college, or department has created a custom grading scheme, which would show up in this list, just select University of Minnesota Letter Grade Scheme. So you click on that, click Use This Grading Standard, click Done, and then down at the bottom of the screen, make sure you click on Update Course Details. And then you'll get the message saying the course was successfully updated. Now just select Grades from the Course Navigation. First thing you want to do in your gradebook is check for any assignments that are hidden. That's indicated by this eye with the slash through it here. To unhide that, just click on these three dots and click on Post Grades, and then just click Post. The next thing you want to do is make sure that there's a score entered for every assignment. If there isn't a score entered, you'll see this dash right here. You can click on that cell and you can manually enter the grade here. A quicker way to do that, especially if you have a large course, is just to go up to the top here to those three dots, click Set Default Grade, and then enter zero. Don't check the over already entered grades because we just want this to fill in a zero for anything that's a missing assignment at this point. And then click on Set Default Grade, and then it'll tell you how many student scores were updated here at the top, and you can click OK and then a zero appears in that entry. Again, if you have a large course roster, this is a much easier way to do it than to go through and manually enter each missing grade. You can also enable a final grade override feature, and you can do that by clicking on the gear icon here on the top right of the screen. Click on the Advanced tab, and then check the box that says Allow Final Grade Override, and click Update. This adds a column on the right-hand side where you can enter a grade that'll override the total grade for the course. 